What's good? Again, it's your boy Want to Little Benz back again on another reaction. And today, 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 we got Mercules with this Rich Man North of Richmond remix. Now everybody in the mama know this song. We not we gonna keep it pretty short and simple. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know this song. It got 62 million views on um YouTube as we speak. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody know that song. Even my even my mom know the song, and she don't even listen to country music like that. She don't. But even she know the song now. You know what I'm saying? Now we already reacted to Dax. You know what I'm saying? Uh, remix to it. It was so meaningful. He was talking about how the youth was in shambles. Facts, bro. You know what I'm saying? But this is Mercury's. Y'all wanted me to react to Mercury's on the channel? That this one song with Snow the Product. I haven't reacted to her in a while, but yeah, this one song with Snow the Product and Tech Nine. So we're going to do that one next. If y'all enjoyed this video, go and give it a like, comment, subscribe. For more content like this, you can follow me on Instagram. And TikTok's gonna be in the description down below. If y'all have any song suggestions from Mercury's, put in the comments down below. I'll make sure I get to it ASAP. I'll make daily videos every day. Call me Daily Bands. Let's get straight into it. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame. What the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. So many years of ignoring the truth. So many tears I let go on this booze. I'm drinking this beer and I'm doing these drugs just to numb all this pain. I don't know what to do. It's not just me, only you and I know that I've been so in debt that I'm suicidal. I'm so used to being used that I don't use my head in this. Oh my goodness, he said it so much, my. I'm so much in debt that I'm suicidal. That's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Money, like money loss, like losing, like losing money is would do something to somebody. Most of, most of, honestly, most, honest to God, most of the suicides, you know what I'm saying, are, you know what I'm saying, rooted back to money. Let's just be honest. A lot of, a lot of the marriages or divorces was over money. A lot of women come to dudes for money. You know what I'm saying? So therefore. A lot of suicides are come from money. That's not even accounting the women that, that they take all the money from. You know what I'm saying? That's also counting all the debt they're gonna be in for just trying to pay their house off or just trying to rent their house. They never they never, you know what I'm saying, they never actually able to save up no money. They never gonna actually the system is wicked, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna just put it like that. The system is pretty wicked. You have to work twelve hours a day. Just to barely be able to pay your rent. That's crazy. That's facts. It's facts though. Ignoring the truth. So many tears I let go on this booze. I'm drinking this beer and I'm doing these drugs just to numb all this pain. I don't know what to do. It's not just me, only you and I know that I've been so in debt that I'm suicidal. I'm so used to being used that I don't use my head and instead I just use a bottle. But in so many hours we'll never get back just to collect this check that they turn into tax. Maybe next time our kids show up to class, you teach them the truth and they learn about power. Carrying this country is hurting our backs. The government fucks us for working for scraps. No matter what, we're determined to crash. Let's purge for a purpose and learn it all back. And make you a promise and let you down. Plus, these countries are run by some pedophiles. And me, I refuse to just sit hold around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, he said the president's a. What did he say? Somebody was run by pedophiles. Hold on. You a promise and let you down. Plus, these countries are run by some pedophiles. And me. I couldn't understand what he said, but he said someone was run by pedophiles. I don't know what he said, but I know whatever he said was facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, it be the people that you would expect. Donald Trump himself, all y'all Trump supporters out there, y'all keep forgetting the facts. Donald Trump is low-key a pedophile. Not low-key, high-key a pedophile. Y'all just don't want to admit it. I respect Donald Trump from a distance. But he hockey a pedophile. Let's just be honest for a second. He is. I refuse to just sit around while they're teaching our children to shit out loud. They told us to shut up and wear a mask. Just take this vaccine to take care of that. On this highway to hell, I've been there and back. I can't fit all this shit in a paragraph. Mm. Fuck. Telling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame. What the world's gotten to For people like me For people like you Wish I could just Damn, wake bro. up And not Is it crazy that I actually Look Y'all would, would think Based on how I could just sing the song That I like the song Like I just love the song But I heard the song so many times I actually know some of the lyrics It's actually that crazy bro That's how big this song is Legit. True, But it is 
Oh, it's the the drugs that are killing our kids And we do nothing about it, it is what it is Not sorry, I'm seriously sick of this shit I just packed up and moved, now I live in a stick Thanks to Big Pharma, we get withdrawal And the whole world is hooked on this fentanyl Be careful or you might be dead The whole world is hooked on fentanyl You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily exactly know what fentanyl is But I know it's a very crazy drug That's all I know That's all I know I don't know exactly what's in it but I do know fentanyl, and I'm saying this as a genuine, like, just a genuine 19 year old. I genuinely don't know what fentanyl is. Only thing I know is it's a, a very dangerous drug. And I know fentanyl is actually killing a lot of Americans right now, seriously. And uh, fentanyl, you know what I'm saying, that's not even the main thing that's actually dangerous. I'm more concerned about the people that's smoking on vapes or vaping on vapes. I'm more concerned about them because they can't live without that vape, bro. I can only imagine how they finna sound when they turn 25, bro. 25, 20, no. They start at 13 years old, bro. You know what I'm saying? They they, they hooked on freaking strawberry watermelon, you know what I'm saying? Flavored, flavored uh, nicotine, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm more concerned about them, to be honest. Like, fentanyl is pretty dangerous, but... Nicotine is something serious, like I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, we're working away at their beck and call. If they saw this, they tell you that this is a stretch. But why are we letting them get in our heads? How is their veterans living in tents? Cause the cycle is proven to bring us to death. Like, what is the reason we waited this long to admit this is all population control? Take one look around and shit's taking its toll. But I'm saying fuck it, I'm breaking them all. I promise I'm not being passive aggressive. I'm actually fed up, I'm passing a message. I'm trying to say that they have an agenda. And we just ignore all the facts that they give us. Indigenous women go missing and what? We're supposed to ignore it and sit on our thumbs? It's not by the left or the right or the middle. I'm going to war, I will not keep it civil. Ooh, fuck that. Bro, women go, he said women go missing. We, what, we supposed to just sell our thumb? We supposed to just let that happen? We're not supposed to just fight back and just, you know what I'm saying, look out for our women out here, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Equal fight, equal rights. Y'all say y'all want the equality until it actually comes time to actually get the equality. I ain't gonna cap. But at the end of the day, we know doggone well. We know doggone well. As much as y'all want the equality, it never, it never be equality. It never be complete equal. You know what I'm saying? Because we we have things that benefit us better, and y'all have things that benefit y'all better. It's just it's just the way it is. If y'all not men, y'all not gonna be treated equally as men. If we not women, we're not gonna be treated as equally as women. Let's just keep it a buck. We're different, but we just gotta love and respect each other. That's all we gotta do. All we gotta do. It's not about the left or the right or the middle. I'm going to war. I will not keep it civil. Fuck that. Working all day, overtime hours. For bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Bro, I kind of like how he was just sitting there the whole time, bro. You know how most of the remixes, they just be walking around. They be actually making a whole music video. This man legit sat there in one spot and was rapping to us. Literally. That's literally what he did. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's unique. I ain't never seen nobody do that before. Legit, he just looking away for a second, looking all depressed. Like, damn, bro, this can't be. This can't be the world right now. This can't be the world that we actually live in. And then he just starts rapping to us. Dang a lot. Drank back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me and people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. Living in Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That song, it was a good song, bro. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he didn't touch up on some things that Oliver Anthony didn't touch on the song, touch up on the song, and Dax didn't touch up on the song. I feel like everybody got their own different thing they need to talk about. Like, they, everybody has their own thing that they all feel that needs to be brought to the light. And I think that's what makes this whole entire remix thing even better, to be honest. Because... Yeah, the song is already iconic as it is, but you can, like, when people remix it, you can just, you don't have to have the exact same, like, type of lyrics or same topics talked about in that song, but you can still, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to have the exact same topics talked about in the song, but just different lyrics, a different format. You can actually talk about different problems. And it will still fit the entire theme, to be honest. That's what you got to realize about this song. That song is that iconic. 
You know what I'm saying? This song was actually low-key made for remixes, to be honest. Like, it's like a whole debate type of song, to be honest. Like, everybody got the, everybody get to chime in, get, get to say what they feel about it, you know what I'm saying? That's what I like about this whole entire thing. Even though some people don't want to do it because they want to keep it shine, I feel like maybe on one side it's like, I'm glad I was able to get to shine, but I kind of want everybody else to, at the same time, chime in and give their, give their opinions of what they don't like. You know what I'm saying? And what it needs to be fixed. But I like this whole entire thing, bro. Mercury's, bro, I'm going to have to hear more from him, bro. Let me know what song I should react to next from Mercury's in the comments down below, and I'll make sure I get to it ASAP. If y'all enjoyed this video, go and give it a like, comment, subscribe for more content like this, and if you're going to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, it's going to be the description down below. I make daily videos every day. Call me Daily Benz. I'm gone.